we're back and we're playing a game called Bionic Commando. No, it's not the NES version. I'm, of course, here with uh, Clovis. Hello. Yeah, we're playing the arcade version of Bionic Commando, which I guess a lot of people didn't realize was a thing, right? It's nothing like the Nintendo version. For one, Hitler's head doesn't explode. Yeah. Kid, I vaguely remember seeing this in, uh, like, pizza parlors and stuff growing up, and uh, I never really played it. Uh, it was one of those games that kind of caught my attention. But, but, I mean, heck, we're, we're going to check it out right now. Maybe we'll beat it. and uh... <laughs> Maybe we'll beat it. <laughs> this game is hard as hell. Yeah, yeah. For it, It's it's a very difficult game. Thank God that the... Uh, that the virtual currency is virtual and and it's we and it's ne never ending. Yes, this is brought to you by a Capcom Stadium. Yeah. So let's uh let's get to it. There Here we, we go. go. There we go. So the joke is um that what I the joke I made earlier about this game was it's basically Canada versus China. I would like to see something going on with Canada and China. Not like necessarily war, but like some sort of conflict, maybe like, I don't know, ba baseball or not even baseball, like football. I'd like to see them duke it out somehow. That doesn't necessarily mean bad things happen. The great can can um, Canada Chinese baseball feud. Yes. I can, I would live with that. That would be fun to watch. Also, and they never show this. Watch this. I was gonna say, what? What are those for? Like, I, why did? Why are they I there? Punch the beehive. Yeah, and they're mad at it's you. A, yes, it, it's a don't touch it thing. Your character must be allergic. Oh, look, there's bread up there. What are these down here? Those are bombs. Okay. As, you, as you just found out, they look like unexploded missiles. But they don't explode for him. Because they don't have... Because they have the magic touch. I don't know. Some of these trees don't look like they should be standing. I'm trying to wonder if these are trees or, or giant roots. Uh, that would mean you're practically underground that makes me wonder where the hell are you also i've never seen flight suits that look like that they look like raptors i think wiley coyote had something like that once in yeah Road, in the roadrunner cartoons yeah you know I, I i vaguely remember something like that that looks so weird Also, those electric fences look like they like they were cheaply made. I thought it was a cage, I'll be honest. Is it a fence? Yeah, it looks like a fence. It's just a very shittily like, made fence. That covers one tiny little spot. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, reasons. They spent all their money on the mechs, man. On the gun, the, the, the ga gandams, or what do you call it? Whatever you called them earlier. It's like... All right, guys, we have too many Gangnam styles in our base, and we have a one-foot fence here. <laughs> Stage two, the forefront. Isn't it so nice that they tell us which way the battle is? Go that way. This is where people want to kill you. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, he just rammed. He ramrodded you. There you go. He got me with his bayonet. And if, they, if any of you home has played the NES game, the controls here are a little different than you're expecting. I'm not going to try to explain how they're different. Just trust me, they are. I imagine that, because you were talking about them earlier, they're, they seem a bit more, like, frustrating. Yeah. Like, a little more difficult than, than... Is there any lag between the control when you push it? No. Oh, that's good, at least. The NES game gave you, I, I would say it gives you way more control over how you swing around. Okay. This one's simple. Up, down, sideways. 
Not even down, just up and sideways. Well, the NES has similar controls. It's just that it oh, works damn. better, trust me. Not only did he knock you off, but he, he stabbed you, like, off a cliff. That's pure hatred. Yeah, well, I showed him how much I hate him. Watch out for that bullet that actually does its job. Canada's like, here's a gun, eh? And they're like, the bullets don't go that far. Well, we couldn't use that much, that much gunpowder. We gotta conserve gunpowder. We gave you this really cool robot arm. It doesn't. It, We're not it, made of money, okay? You have you have all the bullets you could ever use, but the bullets don't go far. What about the enemy? Oh, their bullets go across the screen. Uh... <laughs> Why do they get better bullets? Look, they don't have robot arms. Some of them do. Yeah. Well, they stole that, eh? <laughs> That's stolen. That's stolen technology. That's why we're going. That's why you're going to China. Oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, that wasn't. Oh, damn it. Again, I, I said it. I'll say it again. The spotlight, spotlight is, is cool. pretty cool. Is a for the time. It's a cool aspect. I'm at, I'm too low to shoot the spotlight. Shoot the gun. You saw I was trying... Ah! Well, thank you! Well, at least you're a little higher now. Again, you know that they're serious when they have freaking rockets on their back. Do they just charge you and blow up? Is that what they do? Yes. Okay, so they, they don't even have the gunpowder to shoot the rockets. They just... They just said, here, we gave you, like, six rockets. Like, I get a rocket launcher, right? I mean, no. they could have just gave them a grenade and... Uh, seems like, it seems like a waste of money. It just seems like a waste of money. Oh, look at all no. these boxes! Oh, it's box no. death! Oh, you were... There's, there was no... There was no avoiding that. Okay. I was just box death. That was the least fair thing we've seen of the boxes yet. Oh god! Thank you, boxes. Well, at I least, thank you. At least, yeah. You... Oh no. Ah, the yeah. box hit me in my back. It was a. Uh... Almost looks, they almost look like dice if you look at them a certain way. You know, I was going to say the same thing. Six and now here it die. is. Rather than going straight to the base, we're going to take a detour through the sewers. Well, that's the, that's the, the un, I don't know, unchecked way in, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to make we're, some story we're, up No for matter this. which way we're going, we're going to fight everyone. Don't you think we should just go straight ahead? Yeah, well, it says to go straight ahead, but he's like, no, nah, you know what? Fuck this, sewers. I use, I I brought this I brought this uh this parachute for some reason I might as well use it, and the gremlins are like, like yes. The parachute is one of the few pieces of equipment they gave me. I'm gonna use it, damn it. Hey, you gotta you gotta make the best of that. I don't know, three thousand dollars that they put into this to this this guy's poor arsenal. Like, I mean. The, I mean, at least China has gremlins. Oh, whew, I made the was, jump. That that made me kind of pucker. Oh damn, damn it. it! Fucking gremlins. I like them better when they're you rode that all the way down to the water. I like them better when they're mogwise. We'll see, someone fed them after midnight. Was it you, Wild? Nah. I just feed myself after midnight. 
I like how shit the pipes grow back too, like the trees do. Because that's how pipes work, right? Yes. It's why they never have to call a plumber over here. The pipes just grow back. They don't need Mario. Not when they have Emperor Luigi. Yeah. Oh wait, this is how Luigi took over and killed Mario and He's, everything. He, he just he, murdered he Mario. Self-repairing pipes. Yeah, that's what happened. He just straight murdered Mario. Because he created self-repairing pipes. Mario's like, that'll never work. And, and he's like, fuck you. And he killed fucking Mario. There you go. There's story right there. We just <laughs> we just solved the game's story. And that's why that one guy throwing the box is a bit like Donkey Kong. Yes. Turns out it is Donkey Kong. Luigi shaved him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Do Donkey Kong's like, kill me! <laughs> oh shit, what? Damn! Why is there like two exhausts on the back of that thing? The amazing thing is that they really do look just like Magitek armor. They do. Well, that's. Oh, I can't go up. That's Wait. impervious. That's impervious to your arm. He didn't think that, you know, Louis, Emperor Luigi didn't think to make the whole base out of that material. Because that would have definitely put a, put a, uh, I don't know, a, a wrench in his plans, in your plans. There would have been no way he could have, you could have stopped him. Oh. Damn. Oh god, I'm going up again. Yeah, progress. Oh, you got a medal. You impressed somebody. They threw a medal at you. Capcom was so impressed I'm putting up with this bullshit. The other team's like, you know what, fuck it, you deserve a medal. Emperor Luigi is impressed. Now for the Gangnam style. Gang Gangnam. With the one working leg and one arm. Look at their, like, they look like pissed off chickens, those robots do. Oh my god. You see it now, right? You can't unsee yes. it. Yes. Yeah. It's Colonel a pissed off. Sanders mech. <laughs> Bacook! So mad. Luigi fried chicken. That sounds horrifying. It's the yes. We can make him walk, sir. Uh, why would we do that? Just make him stomp. They'll do more damage that way. <laughs> Hi guys. Have we acquired the midgets from from the circus? Yes, sir. Have they been trained to do 30 flips? Yes, sir. Perfect. <laughs> Jesus. Night of the flipping midgets. Night of the flippy ass. Yes, that that sounds like the 80s horror movie I want to see. Night of the flipping midgets. I like that the that the robots were only in one level. So they, you know that they, I guess they did have a budget. They can only afford so many robots. Who would have knew? But they can keep throwing people at you. What the hell is this white and blue thing, Wild? It looks like a gun, but I, what do I know? Grab it. Let's see what it does. It's a gun. Try, uh, try swapping. Yeah, okay. Your bullets look different. Looks like you can swap your bullet, your guns at the top. I, I don't have any. I don't have a button for that wild, so I don't know what it does. It added something to my gun. So, oh, okay. Well, the the bullet looks different. It looks like you can go. Oh, it upgraded your your bullets. You can actually fire across the screen now. Oh shit. It's okay. So it's long range. 
And it looked like it hit harder too, because you went through uh, like three three dudes just now. So maybe you got a little more power to it too. Oh no! Oh, that sucks. Okay, fine. Why did I? What, what what was my plan there? While I reached up and grabbed the bomb. You uh, she just didn't want to prolong death. That's what that was. It's like, you know what? I agree, guys. You can win this one. I grab the bomb and bring it to me. Night of the Flipping Midgets. There's so many of them. There's so many of them here. They're so cute, though. Look at them with their giant helmets and shit. And they're they're actually more um, effective than most of these other guys, with the exception of the the indoor choppers that are just douchebags. That guy's standing on nothing. He was the truest master midget ninja of all. Until <laughs> you shot him. Oh no! No! Um, no! 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 Uh, that did not look comfortable. That was looking bad, folks. <laughs> oh, at least I can at least I can uh, parachute into safety. Wait, there's nothing below me. This does not look that, good. This this whole situation. That almost ended the game, there, folks. This whole situation looks bad. Like they're just gonna. Oh, there we go. You can, there you go. Oh, look, you got a friend. All right, up oh, there we go. Yep. I hope he didn't land on you. Of course he landed on me. They're like I've I. Got that, I've got that flat top hair. It looks like a runway. They're like I can't hit him with a bomb. What's what's the next thing to do? Land on him. Oh shit. Oh. Shit. Oh <laughs> damn it. And that actually cost me a life. This game is brutal, I'm telling you. Like, it's just, it's made to eat quarters. Not doing too bad now, kinda. Oh, well, spoke too soon. We spoke too soon. It was all well and good until, you know, a bomb lands on your face. And they don't even, like, launch them. Straight from the, the vehicle, it's actually just throw they're throwing them at you. Like World War One or some yes, shit. We were going vintage style. There you go. Or like the Red Baron. <laughs> just throwing shit out of an airplane. Well I think that white thing we pick up makes your arm go longer. Oh, okay. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe faster? I don't... I mean, I imagine one of them would be for your your bionic arm. Could you imagine how how nice, how like convenient it would be to have a bionic arm like that in real life? Just grab anything you want off the top shelf? Oh, yeah, or, you know, like, top of the roof, or... Accidentally, you know, kill your roommate because you missed... <laughs> that wouldn't be convenient. That would be horrible. Oh, that dude just died. Imagine that. Uh, that court case. Sir, you killed your uh, your roommate with a bionic arm. How do you plea? It was an he accident. He stepped in my way. I was reaching for the paw. It went right through his chest. I really needed a soda. I like how I like the uh, the sprite animation when he's like swinging. He looks crazy. He does have some nice swing. Yeah. There you go. See your see your spot. Oh no, there you go. Make him swing. Ah! Uh! He survived that fall. I don't know if you noticed this, but the enemies, when they um, when they land, they do the superhero landing. 
Oh yeah, they do. They 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 hit that. They do that hard landing and yeah. crash down. Uh, Deadpool would be proud. Okay, he's dead. Ugh. That's okay. What's that? Oh, it's a. It's points. Remember when points was were important in a game? Not, yes, but by the, this point in the 80s, they were all red. Oh, Jesus. This is By just this all bad. In the 80s, they were already kind of pointless. <laughs> Pun intended. But yes. Okay, I walked into that. Well, I mean, I guess that that they were kind of okay for something, like if for bragging rights per se. Oh, yeah. asshole! He landed on my head. He said, I'll avenge you, Commander. You killed our boss. You killed the Luigi clone. Oh, God, so those must be the Gooigis. They are the Gooigis. Time to stop the missile again. Up, oh, yep, yep. The best That's part of the game. That's what the base is even called. Stop the missile. Stage five. Base... Base, stop the missile. Missile. Fort, stop the missile. The enemy left a notice for us to stop the missile. I'll, I'll say one thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're up against Canada. Oh, okay. Because do you see how nice they are? Oh, and if they're Canada, who are who are we? That's the see. That's the question. Who would go up against Canada? Who would hate on Canada? Is this like Mario after he shaves off his mustache? <laughs> it's Italy versus Canada. Yes, Italy versus Canada. Oh, that, so that sounds like a court case I would love to see. I mean, honestly, though, Italy has damn better it. food. Oh, damn. Italy has better food, so, you know, I know who I'm leaning against. Well, yes. Canada has poutine, and Italy has all kinds of pasta. Yes. And pizza. Yes. And ice cream. I mean, who who can possibly win that? Not Canada. I mean, let's be honest. Mexico with tacos? Just tacos is a close win. We're not even talking, like, enchiladas or, like, chillerianos or all that other good food. Just tacos. But, yes, Canada, as far as food goes, is a, is a loss. Unless there's some food I've never heard of or tried from that So, place. yes, we're shaved Mario. Yep. With a mullet. And spiky hair. This is hardcore edgy Mario after Luigi killed the princess. Maybe this is like Mario and Luigi in their younger years before they got their shit together and started a, biz a business. They went to war. Like one of them, one of them, one of them had like a, a rival uh, plumbing company. And this is like, they just went to straight war. This like Luigi's like, fuck this! I'm gonna start bombing people, and Mario's like, you and can't do this. Throwing pipes. Yes. Yes. Yeah, see, we. And Mario's like, no, Luigi, you cannot be making the self-growing pipes. How do we get repeat the business? <laughs> fuck you, Mario. I've got gremlins. <laughs> Did not go well. That seems to be like a subtitle for this whole game. <laughs> but on a commando subtitle that did not go well. Good job. I love how I shoot um, Luigi's thing three times and then it blows up. It's just very shittily made. Luigi isn't very good at making things, but he does make good friends. Obviously, because he's got 
five billion people coming at you. Mario's just not a people person. <laughs> Unless you're a princess. So Mario's only friendly if he if he's getting something out of it. Mm-hmm. Cause Mario's a douche. Oh, here we go. There's the Luigi battle. That one time, Luigi grew a beard. He doesn't I, even aim down for me. I kind of feel like that uh, that statue should be doing like the Hail Hitler's, you know, that stance. The, but the arm's missing. Like, it kind of looks like it should be doing that. Yes, it really sh kind of should. Like, they took it off just for that. You know, they, they chopped the arm off just to, like, I don't know, edit it. I don't it, Yeah. We did it again. Listen to that music. It's so happy. You defeated the evil Luigi. Because you did that, there's going to be peace on Earth. And later on, you guys will start a business. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Presented by Capcom. Later on, brought to you by Nintendo. The end. Dead. Game over. There's some good music right there. Yeah, I didn't know that. Let's listen to this for a moment. For at least 21 seconds. Yes. It sounds very heroic. Like, like a Dig Dug game or some shit. Okay. That was very interesting. Well, I just noticed something. What'd you notice? Every time I come back to this game, they reset the high score list. That's kind of I a know, douche move. I noticed. I know that's how an arcade does it when they turn off the machine at the night, but uh -huh. I'm like, couldn't this, couldn't like Capcom Stadium keep my high scores? It's kind of like... That's that sucks. Like, the whole idea of putting your name in is to have bragging rights, right? Yes. <sighs> you see, do you see the uh, the electric fence at the top there? Yeah. Okay, I see it. The electric fence. Yeah. So, like, this this is an interesting game, for what it is. Uh, not a long game, but then again, it's it's meant to eat quarters. It's meant to to basically be a typical arcade game. Uh, fun? Yeah, I'd say it's fun. Not necessarily my style of fun, especially for as far as arcades go. It's different. I mean, how many arcade games had you grapple arming everywhere while you fight knockoff Gundams and Magitek armor? Uh, yeah, and then, you know, Angry Midgets and Luigi. Yeah. As for fun, I'll be honest. I only had fun because the quarters are free. If I was playing this in an actual arcade... I'd be pissed. I'd fuck off. Yeah, I'd fuck off and play the Turtles machine instead, I'll be honest. You know, I, I would have found another game. I'd have played air hockey. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, I would have found something because fuck this game. I'm just being honest. Yeah, It's not the best game, but it goes to show that Capcom has a very long history with video games. Of course, including um, arcade games. So, you know, they've been around. <laughs> Much well, even before this. But... In, fact, in fact, if they had the original Commando at the arcade, I'd walk over and play that instead. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a, there's about 100 different games that are better than this. But for yeah, entertainment because... value, for free quarters, eh, it's cool. Back then, Pac-Man would be better than this. Yeah. Pac-Man's Pac awesome, actually. Pac-Fever, baby. I play Pac-Man, you know, Q-Bird, um, Donkey Kong, Dig Dug, just any game would be better than this. <laughs> Rather play Mappy than this. Mappy. <laughs> That's saying something. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next game that we end up playing. Bye.